Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig, and today's video I'm going to be covering the most common errors that beginners make in Game Maker. So I've started teaching junior hires and high schoolers in a school setting, teaching them how to program with Game Maker, and it's been really exciting and fun. But I've also learned the most common errors that just everybody makes. So if you are just starting out, this is something you have probably run into in one form or another. And I'm gonna show you what caused it, how to fix it, that way you can get up and to back to making your games as quick as possible. Stick around to the end of the video for an exciting announcement about this channel, but besides that, let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so let's jump into Game Maker here. I have an object, a sprite, and that object has that sprite. So. First thing I see happen all the time is if, a, if you are trying to go and make an event and do some code, you will add an event and you will choose GML visual. And maybe you've actually done this and you said don't ask again ever. I'll show you how to change that in a second. But you do this and all of a sudden this is the window you are presented with inside of an event and you can no longer follow along with whatever you're trying to do because you don't actually want this drag and drop code, you wanna be able to type. So we need to delete this event. We need to go to game options over here in the top right and the very first thing, the default scripting language. Right now it's on always ask, but you can set it to GML code or GML visual and it will just always be that. So if every new event you add is in GML visual, that's your problem right here. Change it to code or to always ask, set okay, and you're good to go. Next thing that happens all the time is when you have an object and you wanna, you have some code in it. So let's say, let's go to the create event. Let's put in something like speed equals five. So this will move our object. Now, if we go into our room, this happens all the time, especially when you don't have things named with prefixes like object and sprite. You will grab the sprite, say, okay, it puts it on a layer and it looks like your object is in your room, so it should be doing something, but it's not. I press F5 to run the game. It should be moving. I put the speed to five and nothing occurs. And that's because this is a sprite. Sprites cannot run code. So check your layers over here. By default, you have an instances and a background. This asset is for sprites. Delete that, click on instances, and drag your object into your room. When you do that and run your game, then it actually does something. Okay, another really common mistake is you're playing around and you're adding lots of assets and you've added another room. And then you drag your object into that room. It's an object where it's supposed to be, but it's not in the room that the game is starting in. So if you've designed a level and you have everything inside of there, or just even just one object that you think should be doing something and nothing appears in your room, it's because you don't have the right room. So in this case, the room that starts is this one with the home icon. Now I can click on that home icon and I can drag room two to be the first one. And then that home icon moves and there's my object again. But if you don't know that, it can be really, really frustrating. I'm gonna go ahead and delete room two right here. Another really common mistake is to disable or delete the background. When you do that, oh, can't do that. I gotta actually drag the player in. When you delete the background and you run your game and you have anything that moves, it has a really weird ghosting effect. That's because of surfaces and how they work. You have to have a background layer in here, otherwise you're gonna get that really weird effect when you move anything that's drawn around on your screen. So make sure it's visible. If you deleted it, you can always add another one. Just make sure that your background is below it. That is another very common mistake. So if I make a new background like this and I put it above my instances, well, I can no longer see it because of the way layers are 
sorted by depth, the one on top is seen above everything else. So you've got to put backgrounds below it and instances on top. Another really common mistake is when you are adding many events. So let's say we delete the create event here and instead we are doing a small movement system. So we go to key pressed left. I'm going to say don't ask for this project and then key pressed right, key pressed up and key pressed down. And I'm in here and I'm doing some code. So when I press, when I go left, my speed equals three and my direction equals 180. So that will turn us left. Now, if I go and I click on right, because I have a setting set, I don't get this error. The setting I have is preferences under object editor. I have single click to open, but by default, that's not what it is. So if I change this, you've got, you're in the left event, you click once on the right event, and then you see this and you change this to zero and you're like, okay, I'm in the right event and that way this should work. You run your game, you click right, and nothing happens because you weren't actually in the event you thought you were. Up here under the events, you can actually see which one you're in but it's really easy to, to make the mistake that you clicked on it so you think you're inside of it. So to make it easier, I always change file, preferences, object editor from double click to single click to open the event. To me, that is a lot easier and saves a bunch of time and hassle. Another thing that can happen when you're doing lots of events like this is you get typing or maybe you start putting something in and then you move to another event and then you say speed equals three, direction is zero, and you think, yeah, okay, this is right, we're all good, I wanna test this out. You try to run your game and nothing comes up. Except down here you have compile error, but you might not know what that means or where the error is at. You just know your game isn't running. So this compile error is actually a link you can click on. If you double click on it, it will take you directly to the line that the issue arises on. So this red squiggly line shows me that there's an error. If I delete that and I run my game again, then I'm all good. Now I can move left or I can move right because I haven't set up left. Okay, another thing I've seen is what I just did. My game was running and now I want to run it again. Sometimes when you have a game running, it won't actually come up like this. You, this dialog box won't always appear, and so I'm just pressing run and run and nothing appears. So you gotta check that you don't have something down here, and if you do, close it. And if you don't see it, you can always press stop, then press play, and you'll be good to go. And finally, the last thing is, sometimes when you run your game, the focus is actually out over here. So it's kind of hard to do. Let's see if I can do it though. So if I click out here, uh, it's a pretty difficult thing to happen, but it does happen from time to time. So if you run your game and you're pressing keys and nothing happens, you might actually not have focus on this window. So you have to click on it to, to, so that all the keys actually go into your game and your keys aren't happening inside of Game Maker, the game engine over here. Because if you don't have focus on the game window, all the keys you press won't actually be picked up by your game. And those are probably the most common errors I've seen. Have you experienced some of those? I'd love to hear your story, how you fixed it, and any other errors that you've encountered that I missed. Now, some really exciting news coming up. We are rebranding our name, our logo, and kind of our philosophy on what we're doing. I'm still gonna make Game Maker content, I'm gonna make tutorials, but we've also got a slew of new stuff that's gonna be coming out soon, including opening up our Discord for everyone for free. So, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and get ready to join because I wanna make an awesome community where I can be active and helping people out with their projects, seeing the work that's being done out there, and also sharing what I'm doing with you guys as well. I'm really excited. I hope you are too. Stay tuned because all of that's coming up soon. But until then, keep making, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later.